Gotta go fast. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you. I actually do like Modern Science Campaign in this game quite a lot. I love this drifting thing too. It took me forever to figure out how to do it. I like trying to use the shoulder buttons. Free boosting! But I actually like it even though I, I actually kind of wish I had more 3D sections. I see like half of Modern Science gameplay is 2D, just like classics. Now, Classic Sonic has this charm, definitely. And a lot of ways, it's different. When it comes to Sudi, Platform is better than this guy. But in terms of the general game, uh, level design, I actually kind of like uh, Modern War. Alright, that's uh, that. Five. Extra life, how fucking useless. I really don't get why this game has an extra life in any description. That's such an archaic system. And you want to know what the sixth thing is? If you use the start menu or come to the start menu, you lose a life. And we're back to 2D. Actually, it's a good time to do this. Now, Modern Sonic Supersonic Mode is fucking overpowered. It's, depending on where you use it, it acts differently. Like, come on, get over Depending on where you use it, it acts differently. Oh, I hope I'm boosting. Whoops. <laughs> well, it acts differently depending on where you use it. Um, a lot of times it turns into an, like basically a level skip function like you just saw, where you just sort of autopilots. And otherwise, it's much faster than normal Sonic. It's, you know, as opposed to Classic Sonic, which is basically just a minor buff in all areas, coupled with invincibility. Now, the problem is, if you use the level skip boost function I just showed you, Go back and watch how fast my move is. I'll go out fast for a second. Alright, I'm good for clear. Don't even feel like changing uh, Okay, the beginning of this stage is really painful. Did you even know you can go on these, by the way? It took me a few tries before I realized I can actually jump over to the other way. Okay, make it! Perfect. Make it! Yes! Finally. Oh my god, you have no idea how many times I've had to redo that. Upper rail. If you overshoot that too hard, you end up on the lower rail anyway. I hate it. Up, down, up, down. Great juice. Fuck! Oh fuck, I was just right there. I'm three seconds short because of that. Who cares? I don't feel like trying to get that like that ring again. You can pretty much skip this whole section by just leaning to the front, like that. And someday I'll actually get that ring card, or that special one. Alright, let's use this. This is annoying. Uh, okay, there we go. It's really easy to fall on that, but what the fuck? You see that? Sonic just like snapped back to the beginning there. Oh well. It's easy to fall down and not hit, you know, you gotta jump into that B usually. Okay, there we go. Got a boost up there. I don't think I'm gonna be able to hold Supersonic for the entirety of this map. Supersonic use and drains a two two rings a minute. Or two rings a second, sorry. Yeah, two rings a minute, that'd be great. I'm like one is what it usually is. I think it's what it is in the final boss too. For some reason, the camera angle on that runway seems to change, whether it's depending on if you use the poker or the railing. Make a jump. Perfect. Did somebody spill a coffee on a control panel or something? What the fuck is everything exploding? Alright. I have to do that last part right there. It's a pressing number of times. And that jagged floating platform back there? Yeah, you have no idea how many times I fucked that up. This course is really full of, of like extra health in the routes you don't even know about until you really knuckle down and explore the level. Most of the hits that I advise are jumping over random things or like jump like what the jumping where you wouldn't expect. Like this. Going up. By the way, it doesn't matter if you made that jump over or not. If you come off of that jump, off of that rundown on the railing, you'll fire off of it. Wait. I don't like this part here. I, I 
you can go fast through, but it takes to basically the thumb block to make it look that tall. There we go. Oh shit, no! Oh, 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 no, 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 no! Come back, come back, come back! I'm not even sure those robots do anything. They're just sort of standard and play with themselves. This is what I mean. Watch this. Did you even know that was there? I didn't. Not until, like, very recently. I was trying to, well, I was just digging around with the factory way to do this level. I have fallen off during this part. What? Yeah. I have fallen off during that part. Or just hit the wall or something like that. Like, you just suck. Oh shit! I forgot about this part. No! Fuck, move it! No, don't hit that! Oh, damn it. I got hit. Who cares? I made it Oh no, four hole robots, whatever shall I do? This part would have floor fall for the other. I can probably boost it right now, but uh, the death egg all the same. And just like in classic Sonic, this this these next two stages are the best part of the game for me. I'm sorry, I just grew up on the Dreamcast era games. They were awesome. Man. Best music in the stream there too. Also important to me, this feels like one of the fastest stages in the game. It took me a while to figure out about that. And yes, I did screw that up a couple times before I got that jump. And of course this might all be fucking not. I'm probably gonna fuck up something later in this recording. You don't even know how many times I've just said just that. I might fuck up a little recording. You don't even know about it. Alright. No. Smashy, smashy. There's a second. There's no extra music that plays during this part. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm probably just gonna leave it consistent. Yeah, you guys don't know this. If you, unless you've seen the Sonic Classic for a but I'm not listening to any music here. I'm just playing with that music. It's fucking surreal. So, I'm gonna add it all in later. So, I'm probably gonna leave out the extra shit that plays there out. Hey, this is the part I love. I'm running, running down the highway. We interrupt your kick ass highway speed run with a little bit of sideways platforming. Have fun! Oh god, no spiky death! Ah! Jeez, fuck. See, one of the main things about modern times gameplay is that while there's a limit on your move function, it's really kind of tangential because you get it back so easily with just killing things and stunts. So you're basically just boosting all the time anyway. Alright, making this stun ring. Yes! Okay, so that might have just been the best run I've ever had on this stage. Alright, now you know what the trick of this is? Um, smash cars. You get boost back for it. You know, yeah, those jumps, that ramp. Fuck that. Let's smash it up. This is actually a really short course. I think there's only like one 2D session that I go through. I it's booking it on either side like this and uh, you'll see it. Notice by the way he's actually on a surfboard and not just a piece of- Ow! Fuck it! Tree! Not a, just a random piece of fucking helicopter debris. Half of the time I've had to restart a recording on this is because if you go through the robot instead of the railing, you really gotta force that fucking thing. Usually I hit something on the way there. Have to restart. Fuck you, Alan. Usually I miss that railing, believe it or not. And it's possible to miss those treadmills and completely screw up on that. A little behind, but who cares. Yeah, you can basically go over this entire thing. If you go down there, there's actually quite a lot of version platforms to do. Right? Yeah, smashy, smashy. It's not that I that third platform again. We start right there after everything else. In the original game, this part was covered in so bad Alright, we're done. Now we just gotta do the last part of the stage. Which is this. <laughs> you thought the gun truck was awesome and classic. Wait till you see him here. Bus size! 
because, you know, the gun truck in Sonic Adventure 2 wasn't scary enough, but I had to get the faster fucking plus sauce. Who was, of course, smashing up the city. Hey, by the way, those buttons aren't random. They don't, like, just, it doesn't just slap them down and get, like, one out of three. If you're in front of one for so long, he will use that one. Case in point. I'll be in the middle one. Oh! Fucking jump and get me killed. And we appear to be escaping, right? No, fuck that. He's gonna trace us along the wall! Boom! Yep. I'm going off reservation here. Oh no, fuck it, Mr. Rings! Move, move, move! Okay, I'm good. Oh, I almost drowned this thing. Alright, let's get our boost back with these. Hey guy, see ya. Hey guy, see ya. Tortoise. Yeah, you can skip the shit out of this stage. I don't really think it constitutes a bug because I'm using it here. If it counts as a massive obvious bug, I don't use it in this playthrough. But there's a lot of them for this game. Here we go. Beautiful. That so whole building to my left just in? Didn't do it. Oh, I could have jumped right to the railing this time. More cannon. Just like classic, this is all about the cannons. Alright, now I'm gonna have to slow enough so this is gonna be the right one. Perfect. And then suddenly. Sonic's in the car! Did you see that coming? Because I didn't fucking see it. I'm guessing Sonic Riders, I don't know, I didn't even play that one. You know the question, the car is slower than he is! Why is he even driving it? Not really a car, like a trike. It's kind of staring itself, by the way, it's not all me. I just picked one side of the road. Along the wall. That's probably one of the more unforgiving wall runs for the mind placement. Let's use this. Oh, fuck. Yeah! It's so sad. Come on, this Protonic isn't really set to autopilot in here. Oh shit, crush, 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 don't get crushed. Oh shit, I didn't jump. Oh well, here's Let's see if I can go through that hit anything. Beautiful. Make it, make it, make it! Wait, what? I got hurt? I thought it just could stop. I just lost rings. I don't think this game understands how it works. He's fucking super sonic. Oh. So. Same issue with Classic Sonic. Why exactly am I playing Sonic 2006? Especially with Modern Sonic. I mean, that's where most of the bad, bad blood is, but this is from this game. And my same theory, I think it's a matter of uh, trying to extend some goodwill to what was otherwise a broken game to try to demonstrate that it wasn't necessarily a problem in the theory. I disagree, but we don't, I guess. Let's just keep it in mind that Sonic is not a Final Fantasy game. Time for a classic enemy staircase climb. I've actually fucked up there because if, while I'm recording, it is you don't see it off because I'm going to be taking these out. But I do lose record. Um, hold on, minute, real quick. Got it. You don't see this too often, but I do end up getting lag on my input. If Sonic, if, if, if the Sonic generation lags at all while I'm recording, it's usually on the input. When you're going this fast, that's a problem. It means I usually fuck up a jump because like, in the game I press A and the game didn't register. So I think just runs clean up a platform or something. I did have a bunch of glass in my face now. My one eyeball. Lots of snapping on the stage when the game introduces it. Supersonic should be pretty useful. Thank God I didn't boot clean over the bumper into my death. Did I hear the last start yet? I want to go this way. 
So the requirement for this TV is not the mechanic is the main reason why classic Sonic's uh, version of this map is way better. Alright, one more. What, what? What? Ow! What? Again! I got fucking hurt! I'm... No, that's not how it's supposed to happen. Maybe I do need to have a combination of Sonic and Invincibility. Go Super Sonic. Invincibility. Normally it would be dodging shit in front of you by a firing tornado back there, but not, you're invincible here, so who gives a shit? This is actually a really cool stage. I gotta give him credit. Usually when I'm doing these recordings, I actually have the first half of our of our any of the stage way more memorized than the second half. That's why I can just lather on while I'm sort of on autopilot here. Or I can't, I'll just run into a bunch of barrels like an idiot. Take your pick. Alright, clean sweep, didn't get run over. I didn't expect at any point that I was gonna run past like uh, LG Auditore and blow clean off a upholstery or something, don't you think? Maybe get the pitch up and add Bloodeen versus the Chaos Emerald. Especially here. Cheat? I think the Express Rock. Hey, these things again! You're annoying as shit in the entire classic time campaign. <laughs> it's a good thing he cleared the top of the spire. That would have been an embarrassing way for Sonic to go. The credit where credit is due, that set piece from my YouTube just saw, uh, that view down in town is really cool. You know, that's some vertical shit right there. Bit of life insurance over there, don't want it, don't need it. Whee! Oh, what? Oh, okay, we're gonna go this way. I like this part right here. I think it's about time these guys taste the rainbow! <laughs> yep, science definitely on level skip mode now. <laughs> oh, it works here! Sweet! I, didn't, I was wondering that. By the way, they have to ride across those. What? Okay, science is kind of bugged out on the map. Usually, otherwise, they'd have to, like, jump pad all the clock the balloons. I take it that airship or whatever it is is pissed about what classic Sonic is doing. Okay, uh -oh. oh fuck, no, get rings, get rings, get rings, got it. Come on, ow, no shit, more rings, get rings. I got one, perfect. Come on. Oh crap, no. Yeah. If you destroyed all the mechs in time, you would have a pile of rings. And thus begins my least favorite modern Sonic stage in the game. Yeah, I like this stage more than I like Classic Sonic's Planet West, but I still don't like it. Look at that it looks like Namek, too. Did you get that? I mean, it doesn't help that Sonic the Hedgehog in the franchise is basically aimed with Dragon Ball Z whenever it can. I mean, I guess it's got more foliage than Namek. And, you know, well, well, it, was the water purple in Dragon Ball Z? I don't even remember. I think it was, was either that or it was like bluish. You know, like normal water. Or green. I'm like, I don't even remember. I love watching Sonic outrun rings like that. I like I'm dead. I got two rings left. Yeah, there we go. Alright, I'm gonna go under here, and I am going to take that rocket again. Now, if you watch any other videos online, I figured out this. I learned of this while watching some other speedruns of some way faster Japanese guy who was just insanely fast. Right. But you can you keep this rocket all the way up to like near the end of this section, and you can skip the rest of the level and do it in like two minutes. Well, two minutes if you're him. For me, it'd probably be like two and a half. But I'm not gonna do that, especially because I want to show you one thing I'm really pissed off about with this thing. But we'll get to it when we get to it. But for now, let's just keep going. What does Buzzsaw even do? Like, it's up here sawing nothing. Like, is it a wood saw or something? Like, on the ceiling? There we go. 
Now this is a really annoying spot to sort of ship. Okay, ship, 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 ship. Beautiful, hit it. Now you can jump over that trick ramp and right here use a rocket and skip this section here, which is, I can't blame him, fucking current riding. This is some Donkey Kong Country shit. It shouldn't be in a Sonic game. And it shouldn't have ended a Sonic game. This is the last thing you do in the entire campaign. Are you for fucking real? I mean, they ended it off with cart riding? Like, why? Why not go fast? Why not another, like, something, you know, just like one of those front on 3D, like, race as fast as you can against something like and Rooftop Run did or City Escape? I'm gonna, I'm gonna meant to kill him, but whatever, I'll just ride along with him. Second round thinking that wasn't gonna come out and I just fall with some death and do something stupid. Right. Here we go. Ah, uh, I got that buzz out, fuck that. Interesting to me is that the Wisp powers can actually override supersonic. I think like that's one of the very few things that can turn it off without just running out of range. Hey, whoa, 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 I just fell through that. Did you see that? Alright, now, let's see. Oh, come on. Give me a card. Lock onto a fucking card. Come on, no, this guy, yes. Oh, finally. That's a real, um, you can do it, it's normal Sonic, but it's a real pain in the ass. Oh, fuck, I missed it. Got it. Perfect, just make it too. Alright, two. And it is one, two more times, and then I'm at the top. Oh, shit, no! Let me do it here. No, fuck, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, God, no, get, the, get it again, get it again. Move, move, move. Come on. Oh, that was way too fucking close, man. Alright, I gotta get this one again. Perfect, okay, come on. Oh, I think we're done. Excellent. This is the only state I can recall that ends sideways to. 